Hi, in today's video, we are going to install an other WordPress important WordPress plugin. To install, we go to add new. Here, we are going to search WooCommerce. WooCommerce is the plugin that enables commerce or market like web interface or options for your website if you click install simply you will be able to install this the best thing about this the, with this e-commerce or woocommerce uh, plugin there are many other plugins integrated automatic or by woocommerce these two companies that are the ones that have uh, that are uh publishing these you can see here wp overnight they are just gi giving an uh, other plugin or an extra feature that they might need it and they developed it and shared with everybody and if you buy if you use it there will be some features or some options that you have to buy to use those features so it depends on what is your need you can even connect Facebook for that is by Facebook, Facebook for WooCommerce. You can have e payments integration that is also by automatic. You will, once you activate this, there will be some five, six steps. Uh, there is a shipping tracker, there are payment plugins, there are boosters, different, uh, for example, uh, SEO, there will be variations on any products different downloads or filters will be needed shipping station integration you can with this website or with this plugin you can integrate so many other features like you can see google analytics for this it will give you what did people search and how did they come to your website what keywords they searched and which page or which product they came to and the list goes on. There are 29 pages full of these. For now, we are not going to install more of these plugins, but they will be needed once we go back and activate the inactive plugin of WooCommerce. Let's activate it. Yes, like all other plugins, after activation, the the first time setup wizard came in, United Kingdom, UK, right, ABC, one, two, three, four, five, city is London, continue um no thanks get tips if you check that now this is where they ask you what kind of store you are going to operate you are going to publish courses you are going to sell furniture you are going to sell hardware or fashion and apparels or health and beauty you can check all of them if you are running trying to run a website like uh, amazon or up to you the specific category if not you can choose other and you can give it your description uh, let's leave other and continue after this you will be selling physical down physical products downloads subscription there is a pound button next to subscription that means subscriptions plugin membership plugin you will let people become member paid member of your website you will allow them to do bookings like ticket booking or appointment booking this pound button or dollar button might be or these customizable products what it will be it will be annually charged these products uh, display monthly prices stuff like this uh, if we search WooCommerce. Membership 
plugin you will be able to see you will be taken to woocommerce website and this is 199 dollars built annually so if you need membership feature what is included this is what is included and if you want to see the details they will ask you for details if you continue like this they will ask you how many products let's say a thousand plus um no i'm not running i'm setting up store for a client if you're doing that for a client or continue add recommended business feature yes we need to add all these features sell on amazon ebay this is uh if you don't want to add features just uncheck it if you want to add you can add all or remove a selected one because it says free trial we don't want to go to a trial um it is tiktok for woocommerce facebook google listing mailpoint all these plugins will be installed for this continue again if you are not comfortable with any one of these plugins you can disable them at any time and now they are asking us the last step because we are using woocommerce this is our active theme there will be themes you can view their live demo here within your website if you have products it will show if you are selling baby clothes or baby's products uh if you are using selling music and stuff like this uh, there should be a market that we are interested to open or just to pray you can see market okay this is marketplace we need a market anyways we can customize this later let's go with our free storefront theme let's choose this by choosing means uh this theme is being activated downloaded and activated now what we have is we have downloaded few web a few plugins for wordpress that are connected with woocommerce you can see previously we did not have all these from here one two three four five six all these settings in the admin panel but now they are appearing and even these settings here in the appearance you can see the storefront we'll come back to that you can see set up jetpack jetpack is another beautiful website a very beautiful plugin i believe we'll do that in the next video uh since you have downloaded wordpress uh, woocommerce for in your wordpress now you will have another link instead of site you can go to your store uh, if they have imported any data there is no imported data let's see if storefront will help us import uh create a home page add example products yes that's what i meant we would like to import some sample data so our website will not look like this currently it is looking like a blog a wordpress blog but you can see what has been added new pages cart checkout my account shop and cart and the total money for the cart and the products but we need some more data add your logo blah 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 let's select home page home page will be this page publish it now you can see in our previous video we did a video for yoast seo it is showing details for that one there is more let's check store front page in the dashboard let's see alternate designs oh they are asking let's choose free from free let us okay we can have these
Now, if you go to WooCommerce, that was our main topic of today's uh, video. Yes, you can see now things have changed. As the data has been imported, we have four accessories. You can go there and see how much they are being charged. You can see there is a pound currency sign showing. If you add, it will show here and you can go and check out. After you go to check out, it will show you, ask you country. You can add the address, select the details and you go to placing order. Now there is no payment option. For that, we have to go to WordPress, uh, WooCommerce, WordPress admin and WooCommerce admin panel. You have to verify your details. You can finish setup by adding details. We'll do that. Okay, it is asking you need to have a WooCommerce payments uh, plugin. We don't want that. For to replace that, we are going to do is we are going to add PayPal, PayPal or Amazon payments. You can see when we search PayPal in the uh, add plugins directory, we get WooCommerce PayPal payment. Let's choose that. There are many payment gateways. Be careful. You know what you are doing or hire a professional. Better. Activate it. And then go back to WooCommerce dashboard. Now what it is saying, verify your details. So it's taking us to the same place on payments. We go to settings and in settings payments, since we have already added PayPal account, they want us to connect our account. Instead of connecting our account, we can say cash on delivery, PayPal, PayPal. this will take us to integrate with PayPal, check payment and direct bank transfer. Let's keep it to that simple. It can be done by uh, different payment gateways. Now, if you go to checkout, you can see there is check payment or cash on delivery. If you have connected your uh, under payments, if you have connected your PayPal payment account then for sure you will be able to receive payments to your paypal or you can connect any other for example the same way we are going to uh, download other plugin for woocommerce uh, stripe stripe is another online payment gateway system they also use for woocommerce install Activate after you activate it will take you to do the setup um, Here WooCommerce settings And payment settings So you can see here There is stripe payment gateways that came same way you can add other payment gateways if you want for example, let's enable uh anything from stripe oh activating this will require us to verify stuff on on the stripe website we are not we are doing it on local host will activate or will activate or enable or authorize stripe in the stripes or payment gateway videos thank you very much for watching we'll go in more details of woocommerce in the next video